The 320B includes a menu for carrying out let-by and tightness tests on pipework. Access the let-by and tightness tests from the main measurement menu. Make sure the analyzer isn't connected to anything to allow the pressure sensor to be zeroed. The let-by test is displayed with default settings. The stability time, test time and target pressure can all be edited according to the let-by standard you are working to. Once the analyzer has zeroed, connect the hose to the test point on the gas meter and to the analyzer via the pressure adapter. Open the gas valve and pressurize the system and then close it again. Use the blue gas relief valve to reduce the pressure in the system to the target pressure shown on the analyzer. The pressure reading on the bottom line needs to be set to the target pressure shown above, in this case 10 millibars. With the pressure set to 10 millibars, start the stabilization time. If the pressure varies during this period, then reset and start again. At the end of the stability test, the analyzer immediately goes into the timed let-by test where it measures and logs pressure for the preset test time. During the test, it displays the pressure at the beginning, the current measured value, and the difference. At the end of the let-by test, you can decide whether the test has passed or failed, and whether to move on to the tightness test. The analyzer must be zeroed for the tightness test. Remove the pressure hose for zeroing, and then reconnect it afterwards. After zeroing, the 320B displays the tightness test with default settings which can be adjusted. In this case, the target pressure is 20 millibars, and the test is to check that the pressure doesn't drop, which would indicate a gas leak. Again, open and close the gas valve, and use the blue gas relief valve to set the target pressure, then start the stabilization timer. Ensure the reading is stable before proceeding with the tightness test. Industry standards originated for carrying out the tightness test with the U-gauge and say there should be no discernible pressure drop during the tightness test. Using a flue gas analyzer or digital manometer, the maximum pressure deviation is 0.2 millibars, which is the value the industry accepts as a discernible drop. At the end of the test time, the results are automatically logged. To check and print the results, go to the measurements records menu, select the relevant test and view the data which can be printed if required.